Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and put these on. Wardrobe change. Yeah, I, we haven't had a lot of time to practice here, guys, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll give it. So, so I, I want to introduce to you a real Irish Irishman, descendants of Marty himself, his five grandsons here, Joey Baylor, <laughs> Matt Robertson, <laughs> Alex Torrance, <laughs> Nick Walsh. <laughs> Walsh. Everyone have a paper? Yeah, everyone's got, everyone's got a paper. Okay, so, so we're going to enjoy, we're going to, we're going to, and I can't think of a better time to sing Steve O'Donnell's Wake than at an actual Irish celebration of, of life, right? So, all right, we will, we will, this is an audience participation song, just like all barroom songs need to be, okay? Uh, that's why you have the lyrics, and I don't expect anyone to sing, I expect you to sing the chorus, and it, and if you know the if you know the words, that's great. Sing along. If you don't, you're going to be singing along by the time the song is over anyway. So we'll, we'll be good to go on that. Um, but without uh, the the most important thing is when we come to the word cake in the chorus. Not much cake. Not much cake. You yell out, not, not much cake. Okay. So what we'll do is we're going to go through two two renditions of the chorus. We're gonna sing the verses. When it comes to chorus, we'll sing the chorus and we'll call it a day, all right? So again, this is for Marty Walsh, who again, I can damn well guarantee you, bellered out Steve O'Donnell's wake when he would go to choir practice, okay? Okay, so. There were fighters and fighters and Irish dynamiters. There was beer, gin, whiskey, wine, and cake. Not as great. There were men in high positions. There were Irish politicians. And they all got drunk at Steve O'Donnell's wake. Steve O'Donnell was a gentleman, so everybody said he was loved by all his friends, both rich and poor. So of course they all felt sorry when they heard that Steve was dead and they saw the black red paper on his door. Now one young teacher of he had the job to lay him out in a gasket basket of the finest weight. And he dressed the corpse in black cloth and said, boys, I have no doubt you will all remember Steve O'Donnell's wake. There were fighters and fighters and Irish dynamiters. There was beer, gin, whiskey, wine, and cake. Now let's cake! There were men of my positions. There were Irish politicians. And they all got drunk at Steve O'Donnell's way. A barber came and shaved his Galway sluggers from his throat. And cut his hair at La La Pompadour. And a red necktie and buttonhole. In his coat and a bunch of shamrocks in his hand he wore. There were fifty candles at his head and twenty at his side. He was and well lit. flowers in the French of sake. And a steamy boy, when did you die? The weeping widow cried. Sure, we all felt bad at Steve O'Donnell's wake. There were fighters and biters and Irish dynamiters. There was beer, gin, whiskey, wine, and cake. Not much cake! There were men in high positions. There were Irish politicians. And they all got drunk at Steve O'Donnell's wake. Now Mike McGovern said he thought O'Donnell was a bum. Of course he only meant it for a joke. But Patty Mac got up his back and Matt McGovern flew and he hit him in the eye an awful poke. Sure, <laughs> all his men get up fighting then. For everyone was mad and blood enough was spilled to form a lake. They knocked the corpse upon the floor and blew out all the lights. There was mayhem down at Steve O'Donnell's way. There were fighters and fighters. And Irish dynamiters, there was beer, gin, whiskey, wine, and cake, not much cake. There were men of high positions, there were Irish politicians, and they all got drunk at Steve O'Donnell's wake. The cops came in and stopped the brawl and made them understand. The corpse was picked up by his brother Dan. But someone stole the necktie that was round O'Donnell's throat. Mike McGovern said O'Reilly was the man. Then O'Reilly's friend got crazy mad and swore they'd have his life. McGovern saw they made a big mistake. But they fought and yelled and danced around until the cops came back and arrested all at Steve O'Donnell's wake. There were 
spiders, ten biters, and Irish dime hiders. There was beer, gin, whiskey, wine, and cake, not much cake. There were men in high positions, there were Irish politicians, and they all got drunk at Steve O'Donnell's way. One more time! There were biters, and biters, and Irish dime biters. There was beer, gin, whiskey, wine, and cake, not much cake. There were men in high positions, there were Irish politicians, and they all got drunk at Steve O'Donnell's way.